hello all so today we will see how to send emails through node okay we will be using a package called node mailer we will use gmail to send emails so for this first of all what you want to do is come to an empty folder and in that empty folder let's begin with initializing an empty package so for this name emailer let's say Okay, version David empty index JS is fine. This command no command git repository. Okay, here I'll enter my own name. Once all this is done, we will say okay. And uh, we want to install few packages here. The first one is server you need express npm install express, and then you need node mailer. The next thing is you'll also need dot env. I think that is it for now. We also have to use this course. Yeah. While that is happening, what we want to do is now let's open it in our VS code. In the VS code, we want to, yeah, index.js is the name of the file. Once we have this file, what we want to do is and using that express, I want to create an app. What we want to do is, uh, Let's bring in the dot env package. Dot env. Dot config. And here I like to specify the path explicitly. I don't want it to take it on its own to figure out the name. Dot env. So let's create a dot env file because we need this file to store our credentials, our access token, our refresh token client id client secret email and password all those things they will be stored in here and uh, in the index js what else yeah we also need a port once that is done let's move it a bit up and uh, let's not move it Okay, post, post, report, post. Yeah, we don't need this right now, but I don't want to come back for course. Okay, now let's say app dot listen to this port. Listen, listen. Now, if we are done with this, uh, no. We have to say if dot get request response and then this is just basic express server and I need to and error somewhere okay let's go to the terminal npm yeah before we do that I want to something start node index which is npm start so uh, that I think probably you guys had already seen this silly mistake and of course it cannot find the port so let's give it a 3000 give it 5000 in here just to see and you see we have another mistake here it's not a mistake it's a it's an improvement because we have to restart the server every time we make a change. So for that, what we want to do is bring in our nodemon. I forgot to do that. npm i nodemon. Okay, wait for this to install. That's done now. We will say nodemon. You can see npm start. And this will just start watching our app. So now if we do this, you can see it restarts the server automatically. We don't have to restart it manually. Go to our web browser and set up our email address. So for that, let me sign in with my email account. Okay, now that we are logged in, what we have to do is you can just Google for, or you can just, you know, enter this link there i'll provide once you come to this link you will most probably if you have not created 
an application before a, a project on Google Cloud before you won't see all this. Okay, so what you want to do is up here on on this position, you will see this uh, create new project or you'll see something like this. Okay, what we want to do is create a new project and uh, let's say node mailer, okay. Once uh, we create our project, it's creating our project. Okay, select this project. Now, uh, let's go to APIs and then auth consent screen. On this consent screen, we want to click the external and then create. Here you can name your app node mailer support email will be your own and for the logo you can browse anything of the internet or your own logo that will appear here or if you want you can just skip that as well okay here you want to provide the email of the developer most probably your own email okay so let me verify yeah check tomorrow 2020 at gmail.com seven continue and again seven continue uh, yeah again seven continue so this is everything's done once that is done, uh, yeah, take this publish app. It says, uh, here, let me tell you about two things. Uh, this currently our app is in testing phase. So once you click this publish, it will be in uh, published phase. What happens in testing phase is that you get only 100 users, okay across all app so you have only 100 users so you cannot go beyond 100 so what you want to do if you want more than 100 users you can say publish an app and uh, this will be published simple as that so prepare for verification this is something that you you can explore on your own but this app you don't have to so as you can see our rate has gone up to 10,000 runs per day. Okay. And uh, after that, let's click on credentials. So on credentials, we will say create credentials OAuth client application type web application. And yeah, this is fine for me. Uh, but the redirect uh, URI, you have to uh again what we can do is we can search for developer console developers or auth playground yeah. i'll provide this link in the description so you won't have to google this but we need this link here and paste it in here. So, and click create. Once that is done, it will give you this uh, client ID and client secret. And yeah, don't worry about uh, the security of my account because I will delete this app right after this video, this project, yeah. So, here you have your client ID and client secret. Okay. What you want to do is copy these and click on the settings icon here. Uh, this was the client ID. Paste it here. 
and for the client secret copy that and paste it here and now uh, control f and then gmail you will see this gmail api v1 in here you will see mail.google.com and uh, authorize this okay you direct your ms match Sorry about that. Saf. And now when you find a Gmail and authorize, it will take you to this account. It will tell you this app has not been verified so you can just click on go to node matter safe and this will ask you permission you can say allow this i trust this guy okay once you've done that this will give you uh, this authorization code click on exchange authorization and this is your refresh token okay this is your access token what we will do is uh, use all these tokens and store them in our .env file so that we can, you know, give access to our node app to send emails for us. Okay. So right now, let's head back to our .env file auth client ID, client ID, auth, client secret. Uh -oh. refresh token and uh, this was our refresh token here we had our client id now remember you have this client id and client secret these are available here as well okay now the next thing is client secret and save them now head back to our index app let's create another function and let's say we want to take in a message but before that we want to bring in node mailer equals require node mailer let's close that out so here you have let transporter equals node mailer uh, if you if you want to just copy paste this code uh, what you can do is search for node mailer click here and you will find everything here okay as you can see all this so now heading back to the app let's say we want uh, another service it's going to be gmail auth is going to be type auth2 user oh yeah i forgot about that we also need the user mail username equals check tomorrow 2020 gmail.com and password password okay so when you have set up your email and password user process dot env dot mail username password client id all right so now we need a client secret and the next thing is refresh token all right we have done the basics and let's say let's set up the envelope the envelope as you may know that we need a from we need a to and we need the subject we need the text or what message you want to send so from is process.env.mail username and subject is going to be test mail and the text will be this message that's whatever message we passed into the function all right 
now let's say transporter dot send mail mail options this callback function uh, error CD error sending mail error and uh, else CLD data so once that is done we want to just send mail and let's see success is a journey this is the message that we are sending all right so i think it's done local host 5000 hello youtube and if you check the console it says okay it says we have an error yes. and we are waiting it says successful so now head back to google and let's see where's the gmail okay here's your test email let's send another one uh, localhost 5000 docs it's pretty fast actually as you can see this is mm, success is a journey so this was the first part of the sending emails and authenticating your user token through a link that you send to the user's email verifying their email address do not forget to subscribe for the next part in which i will test out the front end we will connect it to back end uh, we will be using angular front end and uh, the next time after that we will use react as uh, to connect to the backend we will also add a database and after that we will begin with nest.js testing so stay tuned subscribe and like the video thank you